Greetings everybody and welcome to this FreeCAD's uh, interface customizing tutorial. First of all, uh, just a qu uh, quick uh, disclaimer, English is not my main language, so please don't hang me for that. And uh, sorry for the low voice, I hope uh, I can recover fast. Anyway, let's get uh, into this. So what we basically want to achieve is this uh, interface uh, aspect on uh, FreeCAD. First of all, just a quick rundown of my um, configuration here. I'm using FreeCAD 0 0.19 app image on uh, KD Neon, as you can see. The information uh, contained in this video can be um, applied to basically all operating systems with some slight modifications. First of all, if you already have uh, FreeCAD uh, installed, uh, it is uh, helpful to delete our uh, previous configurations. There are basically two folders to be deleted. One is in your home folder and uh, in a home config folder. There is a FreeCAD folder and we go right ahead and delete uh, this folder. Then there is another one in your uh, roots, uh, home folder root called uh, point freecad and we delete this one as well. Okay, now let's fire up freecad as we would do for the first time on our system. And the interface look is pretty much this one. The first thing that we need to do, at least on my system, is to correct a bug um, that um, afflicts uh, the global menu that I'm using on KD Neon. So we'll go under Tools, Edit Parameters, Main Window, no, Preferences, Main Window, and we will add a new boolean item. We will call it clear menu bar. Okay, set it to true and then save to disk. Close this one. And uh, restart FreeCAD. Okay, the first thing to do is to go under Tools, Add-on Manager, click OK. Under Add-on Manager, we will uh, first install two workbenches. The first one is called Glass. And the second one is called Icon Teams. I will quickly install the um, assembly 4 workbench because it is the one that I use a lot. We need to close the add-on manager window and will be prompted to restart FreeCAD. Okay, so quickly let's test our um, global menu behavior we should not get extra menus when we change workbenches. Close your FreeCAD window, go into your home folder, FreeCAD folder, mode, glass, and we'll uh, open the glass GUI PI um, file. Okay, so first of all, what we need to do is to uh, change the um, line 35 from combo view to tree view. It is important to not write tree view with like this, but like this. Another customization that we need to do is to go under on line 77 
and choose color white you can choose whatever color you want uh, the one that suits you better with uh, your chosen background 3d background color save your file and restart FreeCAD as you can see if, if we try to use our Q1 um, shortcut there is a problem the uh, glass add-on doesn't get activated this is because uh, the tree view is disabled uh, in the uh, 0 0.19 um, app image version so we need to go under tools edit parameters dock windows dock windows open that sub menu find tree view and double click on the boolean uh, value and change it to true okay you need to save your um, preferences to disk and close the window now that we have done this we can drag our combo view to the right resize it and we'll quickly go into preferences edit preferences and let's start from top to bottom first of all what i like to do is to change the style uh, the style sheet to a uh, dark blue one we custom customize the um, icons uh, dimension and i choose uh, the large view then under display we'll use open glide vertex vertex buffer object the 3d navigation i'm using a laptop and i'm uh, using the touchpad uh, navigation the orbit style i like the turntable one anti aliasing i choose the 4x one and i apply my settings what we need to do now we need to go into colors we'll uh, choose the color gradient we'll uh, choose the first color to be the same as the interface and we'll choose the middle color also the same as the interface and the bottom color of our gradient will be the same as the interface but lighter okay so let's apply our changes and now we need to restart FreeCAD because we need to apply the changes made to the glass add-on as you can see there is a problem FreeCAD hasn't retained its um, style sheet there is a workaround for this too we will go to edit preferences and do this step uh, by step because we will copy some uh, files we'll choose the dark blue style sheet apply it after you apply the style sheet going into tools edit parameters preferences main window you can see that we have style shield voice named style sheet and we'll try to change the value but what we want to do is to copy this link go to your file manager go to your link and uh, copy the style sheet that you are interested in to your point freecad home folder paste your file copy the link go to your parameters editor 
and change this value to your home dark blue style sheet okay and always remember to save to disk close this window we'll create a new file q1 on your keyboard will give us the glass module overlaid on the 3d view so let's try now to open a recent file hexapod assembly and it almost works as uh, we expected one thing that uh, you'll notice that uh, the report view will pop up a lot a workaround for this is dragging it over the combo view and this way will trick FreeCAD into thinking that it is always displayed. Another add-on that I find myself uh, using a lot is the Pi Menu add-on. So let's go into our add-on manager, search for Pi Menu, Pi Menu, install our add-on, close and we'll be prompted to restart FreeCAD. Okay, Q1 for the tree view overlay on the 3D window and we're pretty much set up. Pressing tab on your keyboard you get the pie menu displayed. Click on the literal arrow, let's go into preferences. I want my pie size to be 200, my button size to be something like 70. We can customize our voices for the pie menu we go under tools and choose the one that you use the most after you've chosen uh, the voices that you want to see in your pie menu close the window and let's try it out i still think that uh, the size is a bit big so we go to preferences let's try this at 50. okay so customize it uh, based on your needs it's uh, enough to hit a tab on your keyboard and another customization that you can do is the trigger type uh, hoover and it is a lot faster thank you and i'll see you in the next tutorial.